If you are looking in the mirror right now and you are a man and you say, I'm a three out of 10, I'm a two out of 10, I'm a four, I'm whatever it is. You can change that. You can increase that. You can improve that. And at the least you can become far from average. Yo, what's good, everybody? This is our feast. And before we get started, guys, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. So today's video comes from Patreon as a young man shared with me and he said, Hafiz, how do I increase my sexual marketplace value and how do I increase my overall attractiveness and my overall ranking? And I found this to be a really great question. And shout out to the GOAT, Jose Zuniga, aka Teaching Men's Fashion, because he said something that really stood out to me and he said he does not believe in ugly men. There is no such thing as ugly men. I told Jose, have you seen some of the guys I saw? And he said, no, listen to me. There's no such thing as ugly men. There's only lazy men because every man can do things today to make themselves more attractive, to make themselves more desirable, and to make themselves an overall better person. So here are four simple ways every man can increase their sexual marketplace value and become an overall more attractive man. And the first way is to get on your purpose. You see, this is a sleeper that so many men don't understand. One of the most attractive things to women is masculinity. And you guys know how I always tell you guys to read The Way of the Superior Man. And one of the biggest things when it comes to masculinity is a masculine man has a purpose. A masculine man has a goal and he is set on his goal. One of the reasons why you guys turn off so many women and so many women are unattractive to you guys is because you're so needy. You know why? Because your goal is women. Your goal is a girlfriend. Your goal is a partner. Your goal is a date, a sex, whatever it may be. And so girls can feel this. Girls can sense it. They have a sixth sense where they can really see which guys are desperate and which guys are focused. So what happens is by getting on your purpose, the very first thing is that you don't appear needy. When a girl meets you, she sees somebody who's determined. She sees somebody who's going places in life. And that's the reality. Women want to be for guys who's going places in life. So by getting on your purpose, the first thing that women are going to notice is, wow, this guy is going somewhere. This guy isn't trying to blow up my phone 24-7. This guy isn't begging me for a date. He actually has a life. And women want to be a part of a man's life. And what also happens is, as you're on your purpose, you begin to be Become more competent. And as Jim Quick says, as you increase your competency, you increase your confidence. It's a called a competent, confident loop where the more competent you become in a task, the more confident you become in that task. And then the more confident you become in life and that causes you to be more competent in other things. So it's this never ending loop. So going back to the masculinity, masculine men are confident. So when you are on your purpose and you're achieving and you're improving and you're achieving all these amazing odds, you become way more confident and that becomes so much attractive. So that's why the very first thing every single man has to do is to discover what is his purpose, to focus on his purpose and not chase the women. And the second thing men can do to increase their sexual marketplace value is optimizing their face. Guys, I understand some of you guys have weird shaped faces. I understand some of you guys don't have the most chiseled jawline and you don't have the most masculine robust face. I understand that, but you can't optimize your face. And the first way to optimize your face is to find a haircut that works. So many of you guys have a bad haircut or a haircut that does not fit your head. Be honest with yourself. If you got a cone head, you got a cone head. If you got a square head, get a, you have a square head. Be honest with yourself and look up haircuts that look good on this head. Find those haircuts, take it to the barber, optimize it. When it comes to your facial hair, some of you guys have a struggle beard. 
No, 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 no. If you don't got the beard, get rid of it. Maybe you need to be the mustache guy. Maybe you need to be the baby face guy. Maybe you need to be the goatee guy. So optimize your face, and that's by taking care of your facial hair. And then the last thing is skincare. Guys, you know we partnered with Geology to give you guys award-winning skincare. So go to geology.com. Use the offer code roommates at checkout because it's so important. You can control your acne. You can control the blemishes, the blackheads, the oiliness of the skin geology will give you guys customized skincare routine that will meet your specific need guys you can't control that do you know how many compliments guys i get from women who tell me oh my gosh your skin looks so amazing that makes you more attractive as a man. Like I said, there are things you can't control, but your skincare you can't control. So hop on Geology ASAP. So by optimizing your face, you become so much more attractive and every single man can do that today. And the third way you can become more attractive and increase your SMV is by getting in your best shape. I don't know how many times I can, I can tell you guys this. Women like men who are in shape. Going back to masculinity, what is one of the signs of masculinity? Strength. Guys, if you're looking like a skeletor, you're looking like a beluga whale, you are not in good shape. You do not appear to be strong. You either look like you're a teddy bear, you look like you're a stick figure. Guys, I have provided free workout programs on patreon there are so many home workout programs you can do today there is no excuse it is 2021 every man should have a diet should have a workout program and a workout partner because it will only benefit your life i see so many guys it's crazy off of getting in shape alone what happens is you begin to get choosing signals. You begin to get women looking at you and turning your, their heads because you look good. And when you're in shape, you can simply wear a nice fitted t-shirt and some jeans and look extremely attractive. I do not know what you guys are waiting for. You've seen my before and after pictures. You've seen the before and after pictures of so many men. Guys, by getting in shape, you become so much attractive and you can't control that. You can't control it. That's the best part. If you're not tall, you can't control that. If you don't have a billion dollars, well, you can make more money, but it's hard to make a billion dollars. But every guy can control today getting in his best shape. Like I said, patreon.com slash if you want my workout program, but you don't got to use mine. Find any workout program in the world and get in your best shape. And the last thing every man can do to increase his SMV is to become financially literate. And this is a part a lot of guys don't know. Let me give you an example. First things first, if you become financially literate, if you understand budgeting, if you understand investing, if you begin to understand cryptocurrency and blockchain, if you begin to understand these things, know what's gonna happen? It's gonna cause you to make more money. And we all know one of the most attractive things to women and men is finances. Every culture, every age, every ethnicity, they always say finances, guys. So one of the keys to become financially Flourishing is by becoming financially literate. There's so many amazing books like Rich Dad, Poor Dad, Millionaire Next Door, Everyday Millionaire. Guys, take advantage of your financial literacy because it's only going to help you out in life. And not only that, let me tell you something that happens. Even when I wasn't financially flourishing the way I was now, I was financially literate. I understood a lot about money. So whenever I would go on a date and me and a girl would talk, she would always ask me questions and I would tell her stuff about money, about finances, about businesses, about investment. Even though I didn't have it all at that moment, I would show a robust knowledge of the topic. And I'm telling you guys, it got them moisturized. Women were so turned on because in their brains, they equate a guy's financial literacy to him having money. They don't know how much you have in your bank account, but by you being intelligent, she either believes you got a lot in the account or she sees you're a guy who's gonna have a lot in his account. So financial literacy is something every guy can do today. And that's the most important part of this video. Everything that I offered you guys, getting on your purpose, optimizing your face, getting in your best shape, 
becoming financially literate. These are all things you can, you can control. If you are looking in the mirror right now and you are a man and you say, I'm a three out of 10, I'm a two out of 10, I'm a four, I'm whatever it is. You can change that. You can increase that. You can improve that. And at the least, you can become far from average. At the very least, by doing these four things that I shared, I guarantee you, you will no longer be an average guy because you know what's going to happen? Majority of men are too lazy. Majority of men don't want to put in the work and majority of men are not going to do these things. So guys, optimize your face. Find your purpose. Get in your best shape and become financially literate and watch how your sexual market value begins to rise like Bitcoin in 2020. Watch how you become so much more attractive to women. And as always, you become happier with yourself and you begin to enjoy the man that you see in the mirror. So guys, be sure to hit the subscribe button. Thank you guys so much and have a great day.